All right, guys, I'm gonna answer a quick homework question. We have right now the function f of x equals, so we have cosecant x. And the question is to find the second derivative. So find f double prime of x, okay? Well, to find f double, double prime, that's the second derivative, we need to find the first derivative, so f prime. f prime of x is equal to, well, this is something you need to have memorized. The derivative of cosecant is just something you need to have memorized, and it is negative cosecant x times cotangent x. <coughs> And that's just something you have memorized. Negative cosecant x cotangent x. That's the first derivative. Have it memorized, and you have the answer immediately. But that's not what we're stopping here. We want to find f double prime. So f double prime would be to differentiate this right here. So f double prime of x is equal to, okay, this is a product. We have the product of two functions. Here is a function and there's a function, cosecant and cotangent. And don't forget about that negative sign out front. So what I'm gonna do here is take that negative sign, kind of factor it out using the constant multiple rule, factor it out, so it's like a negative one, and then I'm gonna use the product rule. This is my first function, this is my second function. So the product rule says take the derivative of your first function, so the derivative, of cosecant x and multiply by your second function, so cotangent x. And then add it to the derivative of your second function times your first function, which is cosecant x. Now I realized I didn't put parentheses around those arguments, that's fine. You know, some, uh, sometimes we put parentheses there, sometimes we don't. Just, you know, make sure you understand that the x is inside, is, is the argument there. It's, it's the only thing in the argument is x for all of these. So we don't have any chain rule uh, to worry about. <clears throat> so let's see here. What are these derivatives? Now, we just discussed, so don't lose that negative sign. We just discussed what this derivative is. It's co negative cosecant cotangent. So substitute negative co secant x times cotangent x, but then don't forget about that cotangent x we already had. Then plus, what's the derivative of cotangent? Now we haven't talked about that so far just now, but the derivative of cotangent is another one of those things you just need to have memorized. Okay, The derivative of cotangent is negative cosecant squared x. So that's just the, uh, a formula, a method, a derivative that you need to have memorized. So the derivative of cotangent is negative cosecant squared times this cosecant. Okay. Now let's do a little bit of simplification. So there's still a negative sign out front. We have negative cosecant times cotangent times, times cotangent. So that's negative cosecant x times cotangent squared x, because there's two cotangents. So that's cotangent squared. Now we have plus a negative cosecant squared times cosecant. So that's two, uh, cosecant squared and cosecant to the first power. That's cosecant to the third power, and it's a negative. So negative cosecant to the third power x, like so. So all we have to do now is distribute this negative sign and it's gonna make reverse the sign of everything inside these parentheses, both of which are negative currently. So that negative sign right there will make both of them positive. So the final solution is the cosecant of x times cotangent squared of x, so the product of those two functions, minus cosecant cubed of x. Nope, not minus, plus. 
cells, we reversed the sign, we distributed that negative sign, and made both of those positive. So we found, just to recap, here is uh, the original function, f. We took the derivative and got f prime just by a rule that we had memorized. We memorized that the derivative of cosecant is negative cosecant cotangent. We then wanted to find the second derivative per the instructions. So the second derivative, we had to use the product rule. The product rule says take the derivative of your first function, multiply by the second, add that to the derivative of your second function times the first. We then took these two more derivatives, we collected some like terms, we distributed, and here we go, final answer, right here. So there is f double prime of x, just like we were looking for. Okay, hope that helps. If you have any more questions, just let me know.